welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about how i lost 30 pounds i'm going to be talking about how i did what i did to stop feeling tired of looking in the mirror and hating what i saw and i did what i did to stop having my insecurities stop me from living my best life Keep watching if that is what you want to do for yourself as well. Let's start from the beginning. I started back in 2018 when I was so tiny. My whole life I've been so tiny. I would eat like I was eating for two grown men and nothing ever happened. I never gained weight or anything like that. So I gained 40 pounds in two months. I wasn't getting my periods reg regularly. I never did when I was younger and they always said because I was o I was underweight, they'd always dismiss me. So I had gained 40 pounds in two months and went to the doctor. They were like, yeah, <laughs> you have PCOS. PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome where it's very hard to lose weight. It's very easy to gain weight and it causes infertility and that's not all that it is but you can google it because this is just the symptoms that were relevant to me and what i got going on right now so they told me the only way that i could regulate my periods were to go on birth control so that's what i did they told me that what would help me conceive when i was ready was to lose weight because losing weight would help regulate my hormone and i went home defeated depressed but i didn't do anything about it except for take the birth control pills that did regulate my periods sometimes that you know, made me even gain more weight so now i'm hating every inch of myself i'm looking in the mirror crying every single night i would go to the mall maybe buy a shirt or something and i would just cry in that fitting room because i hated how i looked but i still didn't do anything about it so here I am, crying, trying keto, drinking that flat tummy tea drink that everyone was swearing by on Instagram back then when it was popular, and taking laxatives every night, and trying to starve myself, but me starving myself would just result in me binge eating everything that I saw on my path, so nothing was working until I laid in bed. Like. I need to do something because no one's gonna hold my hand and lose weight for me. So I didn't know where to start. I tried running outside my neighborhood for 20 minutes, hated it. I lasted three minutes when it died. <laughs> like I just couldn't do it. I would occasionally like work out, body weights, but I didn't know what I was doing. So I didn't last because I didn't have a plan. What I did was go get a membership at Planet Fitness I would walk on the treadmill for 45 minutes to an hour every single day and I stopped eating like I've never ate in my life. I would eat what I wanted to but in smaller portions like I would overeat so and I still do. Ow! What? I stopped eating meat for a year and a half while I started my journey not because of weight loss but because I worked at a vegan restaurant and they made it seem like it was a good thing to do so I was just sticking to fish and here's pictures of what I was looking like when I first started to go on the treadmill now that I'm working out a little little I'm going to the gym going on the treadmill for an a whole hour no one could tell me nothing I was seeing the skill drop a little bit tiny bit but it was enough to keep me going and sometimes you know you don't want to keep going you're just like i'm tired i'm not seeing results because i wasn't seeing results like that this was a very very long process and me knowing with my condition that i was going to be harder for me to lose weight it just discouraged me i wasn't always motivated to go i was not always motivated to want to lose weight it was me constantly thinking like what if i kept going what if i didn't give up where would i be in six months where would i be in three months where would i be in a year i would go on instagram and i know this might not be healthy to some people but i would look at really fit girls fitness pages fitness models and i would never be like why can't i be her 
I would be like, if she can be healthy and if it, I can too. I would, this might sound a little creepy, but I would screenshot their pictures, yeah? And I would go to my phone gallery and I would be scrolling on my phone and then I would look at that gallery and I would see the girl and I'm like, okay, I need to do this. That was just my motivation. That was just something that kept me going, as weird as it sounds. And I would always take pictures of like when I would go to the gym, like before and after pictures. So now that I've been going on the treadmill for a few weeks, I started doing HIIT workouts, high interval training. I think that was right. I started doing HIIT workouts in the morning, early in the morning, first thing in the morning on empty stomach. And then I would, after work, I would go straight to the gym and go on the treadmill for an hour. And that's what I was doing for a few months. It's, I was still eating everything that I wanted to, but again, I wasn't eating meat, so it limited what I ate. So I was very much just eating a hash brown every morning with an iced coffee and salmon. That's mostly it. And beet and cheese burritos from Taco Bell. Um, if I'm being honest, that's what I ate mostly every single day. Although I wasn't seeing much of a change yet, I knew that I was taking the steps I needed to build a healthy lifestyle. One thing that also stuck with me was someone had said to me, don't try to go to the gym to see results tomorrow. Go just to make a habit. Just try to make a habit of it first and then the rest will follow. So this is the pictures now of me when I would be doing head workouts and treadmill. I wanted to amp it up a bit, spice it up a bit, and I wanted to do weight training. So what I did was I had bought in a workout plan that I'm doing right now too by Jenna Fleming. And at this point, I wasn't doing that much cardio anymore. When I started weight training, I would do it like three, four times a week, 10 minutes of running, jogging to running after weightlifting and was now a server. So when you're a server, you're walking. You are on the go 24 seven while you're on the clock and you can't eat, you can't. So you starve and you're on the floor running like a headless chicken, okay? So I was weight training, not eating meat, not eating <laughs> during my shifts and getting my steps in because when you're a server, you are running around everywhere. So now where I'm at post BBL and I have a, B a video about, about my BBL, why I got it and all that good stuff. If you want to go look at that, I have that down below. Um, I gained 15 pounds. I don't know how much I weigh now. I was 155 a few months ago. But the thing is, because I got my BBL, the weight was distributed in other places, if you know what I mean. I was 160, my starting weight when I started my journey. The lowest I got to was 130. I was, I was you know, lifting weights, so I wasn't on the scale as much because weight weighs more than fat. Here's a picture of me a few months ago. Here's a picture of me now like this week and it's not the biggest change but i did fall off of my fitness journey i did and i'm only telling you this part because it's not always going to be like sun sunshine and rainbows like you might fall off like i did my routine now is i do weight training and after weight training, I go on the treadmill for 20 minutes a day. Some days where my body is just so sore, where I can't lift weights, I would go, I'll go on the treadmill for like 30 to an hour. And that's pretty much it. Like I don't try to overwork myself. I just take it one day at a time because that's why I got me here in the first place. I took it one day at a time. Back then, I do that now. I try to eat fairly healthy. One thing that I recently did was I, if I were to eat a burger, I will take I'll take out the bread and substitute for lettuce wraps. Right, taco, it's gonna be a lettuce wrap. I, I have the worst sweet tooth in the world. I love ice cream. I love chocolate. I will. I'll go eat an ice cream cone right now. Plainly, but I just 
try not to feel bad about it. Like, I'm a human being. One ice cream cone's not gonna kill me. If you want me to record a video of my workouts that I do, like, let me know. Like, we're in this together. Like, if you need someone to be your friend that will help push you, like, I'm here. I'm here for you. <laughs> what I want you to take away from this is that, yes, I'm here for you. That really hurt me, like, it's red now. I'm here for you. You can always talk to me. I can give you advice. I can try to help you to the best of my ability. You could watch this video. You could want to do it, but you have to do it. Not just want to, not just have me tell you that you should do it. Like you have to want to do it. You have to be just ready to just change your life. My biggest advice that helped me was don't try to see results. Just try to make it a habit first, the rest will follow. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Comment down below if you learned anything. Um, comment down below if you want me to maybe start a series of like the workouts that I do. And yeah, I don't know, maybe you want some fitness content. Well, bye guys.